and uh, just find out the why and try to make the best decision that you think for yourself and try not to immediately think with emotion, try to think with common sense and then let the common sense drive your emotions instead of let your emotions drive common sense. Gotcha. Brother Ben. All I want to know is this. <clears throat> you want to know something? I want to know something. What if we went into these relationships like applying for a job? Motherfucker tell you what the job entails. And if you can't do that shit, then you need to seek employment somewhere else. It starts with just being honest with each other from the jump. That's, the, hey, that's what we didn't talk about. Right. Just be honest with each other from the jump. I mean, in a perfect world, but I mean, it's just like, I know cats that'll tell the chick straight up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just want to ask. And if you only got three inches, don't tell them you got six. <laughs> <laughs> and how about we start to really honestly deal with some of this undiagnosed mental illness, too? Really need to do it. Instead of dragging that shit yeah. into every fucking relationship you go into. Stop think, putting motherfuckers people, in the back room and giving them grand crackers. Take their ass to the doctor. Exactly. People are scared, especially men, are scared to seek um, some type of mental therapy. I think a lot of men feel like it's a sign of weakness. Which yeah. is, it's the ultimate sign of strength if you see a problem or even if you don't have a problem to go and talk to somebody and just figure out what's the how can I what's the better version I can make myself be. Yeah. That might and have of been course, the number one seek, shit we talked about today, though. What? Mm -hmm. What you just said. Yeah, yeah. Seek, just talk to somebody. Something. The shit that we gloss over a lot we talk about relationships and shit and how the shit fail, but it really comes down to the mental part of that shit. Yeah, it does. If Listen, man, you, you just said a lot of shit, John, that meant a lot. And then you didn't realize that shit, right? That, that, what you just said, you realized it, but us as listeners, <laughs> it, we realized it late. You know what I'm saying? What you said. Because he had knew it first. <laughs> no, he did. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Come on now, come on. He's gonna start fucking with me. Yeah. On the real shit. You yeah. Can... yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. You just said some real ass shit, man. It it, it it's Perfect. a little bit more than just dealing with past relationships. Mm -hmm. It's the mental side of that shit, right? Because mm -hmm. the mental health, nobody really talk about that. What is the, the breakup like when you when you done got fucked over? I shouldn't say fucked over. Okay, so maybe the relationship didn't work out. And Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of shit. Okay, yeah. All right. So I, I read somewhere, I don't know or remember where yeah. I read it, but Break they were saying it. that a breakup or a heartache is equivalent to some. Yeah, we had a break. Having a heart attack. Okay. We're good. Yeah. We're back. So, we're so, back. Yeah, yeah, so, we're back. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Blue. Hold up, Blue. There we go. Start this thing off right. Yeah. Just being with someone and then having a what it does to the body. Not to mention mentally. And Blue, listen, this is the thing we don't talk about, right?